And a Hillsborough County woman is grateful her dog is alive after eating parts of a drone. Here you can see that pup named Jada heading home. The pet owner was worried she could not afford the surgery needed to save her dog's life, so she turned to the Humane Society of Tampa Bay. And as ABC Action News reporter Julie Solomon finds out that finds out this one option for pet owners who are facing difficult decisions. And we do want to warn you, though, this story has images that may be quite graphic to some. The drone slash pieces of the drone ended up getting stuck right at the bottom of the stomach. Dr. Justin Borsting shows me the x-ray after a dog named Jada chewed up and swallowed pieces of a drone. He says when dogs ingest foreign objects, they do not always show up on x-rays. It can be rather difficult to sometimes uh, identify and diagnose a foreign body, especially if the object is not metallic. Lindsay Williams says Jada was vomiting and lethargic, so she brought her dog to the Humane Society of Tampa Bay Animal Hospital. So the drone was about this big, and what I found was about this big, and it was missing all of the spinning pieces. So I was like, okay, that's probably what was in her stomach. Lindsay lost her job in 2020 and knew she could not afford pet care elsewhere. For me, it was very emotional because I felt like I was failing her because I could not afford for the surgery. The Humane Society used donations from its Save a Pet Fund to pay for Jada's surgery. The Humane Society says the surgery would have likely cost six to $10,000 elsewhere, but the nonprofit saved the dog's life for free. We help on a case-by-case -case situation, on a case-by-case -case basis. We do anything and everything in our power to work with that person, to work through whatever financial burdens they might have. The Humane Society says it has seen an increase in pet owners looking for affordable pet care. Lindsay is grateful for such generous hearts. She is back to her little spunky self, um, tearing up stuff again. In Tampa, Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.